our managers are probably a little better at coaching and not overly great about training on the details. Do you see the same thing? Yes, a hundred percent. And what you just said, I love the word hybrid because that's exactly how it has to be because mm -hmm. say I'm the best trainer or you hire the best trainer in the biz, whoever you believe that trainer is, you still have to have the continuing training and inspecting and assisting after that trainer leaves, you know, the coaching must go on, you know, so it's just like sports, you know, I'm a big basketball guy, play basketball and whatnot. And, you know, there's training and then there's coaching and you can't just train and then not have a coach that's going to help you through throughout the game. So when you're looking at your dealership, just because you have a trainer, you know, whether it's in-house or out, out, outside of it, you still are going to have to reflect and coach after somebody's met with a customer, you know, exactly. and talk about what happened, like what went good on that, that conversation, where's their opportunity for improvement. So what I've found even for myself is the best training and coaching comes after the trainer leaves and making sure that you keep that going because it's almost like learning a language and I'm all over the place, but say you're learning Spanish, <laughs> you have to keep doing it. Yes. You know, if, if you don't, if you don't keep doing it on a day to day basis, then you start losing that touch. And so I feel it's the same way with training. So having that hybrid approach to it, to where, yeah, there is some training, but then the coaching to keep that going after the trainer, after the training has been complete is where most people, um, they see the biggest success.